Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the end of the first full week of school. What a week it's been. I want to start with a little video from a movie that I really like. I like the message of The Truman Show. So hang with me. It's a one minute clip and then I'll talk to you again after. You ever feel like Truman, stuck in a storm, feeling like you're about to drown and you're just clinging on, saying to God, is that all you've got? Well, in the movie, the name of the boat is actually the Santa Maria, St. Mary. I don't know if the makers of the movie were Catholic, probably not, but for me, that's a powerful symbol. When we're in the middle of trials and tribulations, it's Mary who we cling to. And it's actually God who keeps us afloat. These challenges, these difficult times, this pandemic, this smoke, is an opportunity for us to grow closer to God and to cling to the hope and the friendship of Mary. I have some exciting announcements this week, starting with one I want to make from over at the church. I'm super pumped that Father Dion has agreed to do weekly masses for classes and he's also going to have Father Guy, Father Francis, help him out doing weekly reconciliation. I know because of the pandemic, a lot of people have been missing out on the sacraments. So this is a great way for the kids to get back into the sacramental life and back into the habit of going to church. So thank you, Father Dion. Thank you, Father Guy. Thank you, Father Francis. I'm excited and looking forward to going back to Mass with the students. Because things have gone really well, we're ready to take the next steps when it comes to reopening school life. So in addition to individual classes getting to go to Mass every week and individual classes getting to go to confession, we're going to start to open up extracurricular activities. So beginning in October, we're going to begin having cross-country practices, and we hope to conclude with some sort of cross-country meet. Now, Inter-school sports are now canceled, but we're allowed to have competitions and events within our school. So we're going to do it safely, but I'm really happy that the kids who love cross-country so much at the school are going to have that opportunity. Come November, we're going to be ready to open up girls volleyball and boys soccer. And again, those have to be done within the parameters of our safety plan. But I'm so glad the kids have something like that to look forward to. Five, yes. uh -oh, Another aspect of our reopening is going to be the resumption of parent participation. Soon, the Parish Education Committee will be sending out a notice to all parents to explain how and when we're going to be reopening those hours beginning October 1st. I'm very appreciative of the parents who have already contributed with some supervision help at the school, and I'm really excited to get parents more involved in school life. As always, these things are gonna be done within our safety plan we're going to be maintaining distance, we're going to be wearing masks, we're going to keep everyone safe. But this is another sign that school life is going to look a little bit more normal as we head into October. Oh, this means no fear. Cavalier, renegade, steer, clear, for our temporary transition students, I want to thank you and your families for your patience. Today kind of kicks off the temporary transition program with the pickup of materials. And beginning next week, you'll be meeting with your teachers and actually doing your schoolwork. Things have gone really well here at the school, and I understand everyone has valid reasons for choosing to stay home. I hope by October, you'll start to see reasons to come to school, and by November, we'll all be back together. That's great. Meet the Teacher Night is September the 23rd. On that day, you'll receive a password to finally be able to access the class web pages on the school website. The teachers have been very hard at work 
preparing to use this website as one of the methods of online delivery should the school shut down. They've been working hard at making a back to school video to share with parents that day, as well as handouts to explain the class routines and timetables. Our specialist teachers have done the same, so I hope you're looking forward to seeing that content. The following week, classroom teachers are going to host a Google Meet session with the parents in their classroom. It's an open forum for parents to show up online with the teacher and ask general questions. If you want to meet individually with your classroom teacher, please email them to make an appointment. But I'm glad we're able to offer Meet the Teacher Night. School masses, reconciliation, extracurricular activities, these are all signs that Star of the Sea School is vibrant and alive and just ready to get going. But remember, we're taking it slow and we're going to do everything super safe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next at Meet the Teacher Night online. Listen to yourself, churn world, so the tongue needs dummy, serve your own needs, feed it up and knock speed, grunt, no street.